right, so you guys just saw, well, maybe you saw footage of Christian and I kind of staying up at night, ordering our online exclusive Zooms. Oh, it's raining. I got up at 2.45 in the morning. All I was buying was two Toy Story sets and Elliot. I didn't check out until about a little after five. So it's been a very tiring morning. So I already had a coffee, but I think today, Definitely feels like a two coffee kind of day. Grab myself a dollar coffee, maybe a hash brown. I got something to eat. And then uh, we're gonna be on our way to the Disney store to, you know, get Beauty and the Beast and stuff. So I grab some food and I'm gonna head along. I'm gonna do the, something that I don't think many people can do and shoot a YouTube video, drive a car. I ain't with John at the same time. I got a rant for a few minutes about last night. I don't understand why it is that the Disney store can't get their act together and put up a website that is is able to handle the traffic that is expected on an on a night where something new is released. Everyone knew. The only people that didn't know it was gonna be a big night was people at the Disney store. They're the only ones that were unaware. It's been nine months since the Peter Pan debacle. Why is it that they still don't know that Tsum Tsums are a big deal, and when new ones come out at three in the morning, people are gonna be up buying them? I just don't, I don't get it. I just do not understand how that's possible. My card got charged seven times, and then refunded seven times before on the eighth time it decided to actually work. Why is that happening? And this is 2016, do we not know how to run a proper web server? For like a multi-million dollar company, I mean, a probably billion dollar company. I mean, this is not some small time thing. It's Disney. After I dropped off the kids, I had to go home and change my shirt because I was in just like a regular t-shirt. And you can't look like a slob when you go to the Disney store. It's bad enough that you're a 31 year old guy standing in line waiting for the Disney store to open, but you also can't be in your pajamas. It's like doubly terrible. Well, I actually made it with enough time, surprisingly. Uh, I think I got like five minutes, but it is very rainy out. Hopefully this phone is waterproof. Please see the store. Oh, well, there's definitely people lined up over there. This might be kind of a fun little adventure. Yeah, look at that. That's definitely the biggest line we have seen in quite a while for a set like this, or any set at all, actually. So. That's pretty cool. Apparently there are also collector dolls coming out today that you have to have a ticket to get. So I was kind of nervous that that was for the Zooms and I was about to freak out, but it was just for dolls. But this line is completely nuts. I have no idea how long I'm going to be here. Grab the ticket for one of those dolls. Jeez. We're gonna shove her in there. It's a wild morning. Huh? It's a wild morning. <laughs> it actually wasn't nearly as bad as I thought because they actually were able to split the lines into two. So there was a line for the dolls and a line for the Zooms. So we were able to get in and out pretty quickly. Only about 18 minutes I was in and out. So it wasn't too bad. Dolls look kind of weird to me, but there were definitely a lot of people there that were clearly just resellers, which is really disappointing. I hate that, but it is what it is. Oh, there's a bird in the mall. Oh, I hate that. Get out of here. Birds in the mall. I hate birds. All right, so I'm gonna do this review solo because Christian is not here today. So bear with me. This is not what I normally do, but I will try my best. We have Mrs. Potts. Mrs. Potts, right off the bat, I think a lot of people, and I think Christian was on the bandwagon of, she thought this was a hole, and then the image definitely looks like it was a hole, but it's actually not, it's just gray. So that's actually way better. I thought it looked really weird with the hole. So Mrs. Potts, she's all white. She's got her uh, tea kettle top that kind of looks like a little crown type of hat, which is pretty cool, and her little thing here, we can have tea with her. She's got rosy cheeks, regular black eyes, and purple on the bottom. That's Mrs. Potts. Next up we have Maurice. I feel like I say this with a lot of characters, but he kind of looks like Bernie Sanders. Uh, crazy white hair. I like how they did the white hair. I think it looks cool. 
Got his little um, brighter mustache and big eyebrows. He's wearing uh, green pants with little brown feet and a little vest. That's crazy old Maurice. Up next we have Belle, and Belle is stiff, stiff, stiff. Her dress is, it was starched or something because it is very stiff, not soft, even a little bit. In fact, even like some hard parts down here, there's like a point down here. Kind of see it, it's kind of strange. She has like the green eyes, but they look kind of gold. I don't know, I think she looks kind of strange. I don't love her. Uh, one of my favorite characters in the Disney universe and a little disappointed in the Zoom. That's Belle. Next we have Chip, and Chip is very similar to his mom, all white. His little handle's in the front because he's a little deep cup and he's got kind of the same thing like to show hollowness and the top is just kind of gray material with his little chip. And the side. The chip is like a different material though. He also has purple on the bottom and he also has rosy cheeks. So that's Chip. Next up we have Gaston and Gaston and me definitely have a lot in common. You can see uh, we're both as large as barges and we both like to eat dozens of eggs in the morning and uh, wait maybe we have less similarities than I thought. It's just his regular red coat with a little belt, black pants. His hair is like a little ponytail. I think like a lot of the leaks showed his hair up like that and people thought it was like a man bun. It's actually like more of a ponytail which is what he has in the movie so that makes sense. His face is really weird. I know that they're trying to do like a sideways smile but what it really looks like is that he's missing half of his mouth here and his like he has like a big cheek here so it looks like someone punched him or something. That's Gaston. Next up we have Philippe and Philippe is the horse that Belle rides in the movie. He is interesting. This material right here, whatever this, like the mane is made out of, is something I don't think I've, I don't even know what it is. It's something I've never felt on a Zoom before. It is ridiculously smooth. It's almost like, I don't even know. The little threads on it are really, really small. I don't know, it's really strange. Really stiff though. Uh, I think, you know, with most of the set, they're very stiff. The more detailed Zoom sets are generally very stiff. That's not. You know, it's what we've been used to, these very stiff zooms. That's just kind of what we're getting now most of the time. So this is Philippe. Next up we have Cogsworth. A lot of people said that he, uh, they like, look kind of weird. I actually like him. I think he's pretty cool. He's got like the watch face right here. He's got his uh, key up there to wind him and this little uh, parts of the clock here. And actually on the bottom, he has this entire, you know, the, the regular thing, but it's like vinyl or like plastic. It's like a really, it's almost like a, I don't know, it's a, another material that I don't think we've seen in assumed form before. That's Cogsworth. Next up, we have Lumiere. And it looks like he's like fighting. Like he's got, I don't know, kind of like knives for hands. They're kind of like the material that the tails are often made out of, like this flat felt type material. But these are like two candlesticks. And he's got his, uh, you know, it's called a candle flame. So other than that, he is completely yellow. And, you know, as I said, very basic zoom. And because he's a basic zoom, he's a little softer. He's still kind of stuffed, but definitely not as stiff as the other ones. This is Lumiere. And finally, we have Beast. And I don't really know what to think about Beast, to be honest. I feel like his fur is lighter than I would have expected and I feel like he would be more apt to have for this color like his eye color like this little brown around here it just seems like a, li a very light color the blue eyes are a bit piercing but I think you kind of needed to do blue eyes I think black eyes here would have been I think it would have looked weird he's got two little teeth here and he's got this little he's got like a little tuft of fur for his like mane or the bottom of his mane and then he's got his horns up here are a little thicker than the tails and then he's wearing his his uh ball outfit he's going to the dance so he's got his like coat on his pants and the coat kind of is detached a little bit so it lifts up he's got a tail if we could see beast in a sub box a small beast but in his different outfit his like torn outfit from the beginning of the movie and Belle in her blue dress with him now, I, I would just die. I would just die. Anyway, there's Beast. Here is our whole set of nine zooms for Beauty and the Beast. We also ordered the mini Elliot 
the Toy Story Rocket House set, which is a three alien set in America, and the three piece set as well. Those are coming online. We also got a couple mediums too, which will be a little bit of a surprise when we review those too, because uh, we just needed to, to get the free shipping. We needed to add a couple things to it. So we got, we actually got kind of a cool little order last night when it finally went through at five o'clock in the morning. Thanks for watching and um, subscribe. There's a bird in the mall. The bird's probably never going to get out. Like, that bird's probably in there for life. So, once a bird's in the mall, does it just live in the mall forever? Is that, like, its new home? And, like, are there bird families that live in the mall and only know the mall? And that's, like, what they think the world is? Like, these babies that grow up inside the mall? And then, are there dead bird carcasses all around the mall? Because there's always, like, a bird in the mall. There's no way they could ever get out. Once a bird's in a mall, it's there. It's like almost like Finding Dory, where like, if you lived in like an aquarium, you might think that was the whole world. It's really like, really something to think about.